A new generation is trying to understand the Great Pyramid. Mehdi Tayyubi is a specialist in innovation strategy. He has led numerous projects combining art, science, and technology at Dassault System. In 2013, he met Henny Halal, former Minister of Higher Education and Research, and now a professor at the Faculty of Engineering at Cairo University. Together, they spent two years preparing the Scan Pyramids project and gathering the best scientists and engineers. Once the team is assembled, they set out to scan the pyramids. They will use physics and subatomic particles to see inside this giant structure. These particles are created when radiation in the form of cosmic rays from distant supernova hits the Earth's atmosphere. The cosmic rays then produce several different subatomic particles, including muons. About 10,000 muons per square yard hit the Earth every minute and move through matter in straight lines. Muons are less likely to be absorbed when passing through low-density matter. To create an image with muography, nuclear emulsion films record muons as they cross. More muon trajectories recorded in a particular direction means there is likely more open space above the film. The process is akin to taking an X-ray, but on a much larger scale. In photography, it takes only one millisecond for billions of photons to form an image. But in muography, it takes several months to obtain an image, especially with a structure as large and dense as the pyramid. Inside the pyramids, ancient Egyptians used stone rafters to keep ceilings from collapsing under the weight of thousands of tons of stone above them. In theory, these rafters indicate the likely presence of a room beneath. Dr. Morishima's team places 151 muon detector plates inside the pyramid. With the results of the infrared thermography tests serving as a guide, the films are positioned in the area behind the rafters, where the large temperature variations suggest a cavity. If a new cavity is located here, it will be found. As planned from the outset of the project, the Scan Pyramids team also installs films in an area closed to the public in the heart of the pyramid, the Queen's Chamber. Dr. Morishima has improved the sensitivity of his films so that they are now more resistant to heat and moisture and can record muons for more than 70 days. Positioning the plates in the center of the pyramid maximizes the field of detection and encompasses a large part of Khufu's tomb including areas where voids like the King's Chamber and the Grand Gallery are known to be. They spend three full days analyzing and comparing all of the data and their simulations. The team does not want to claim success until they've checked everything several times. In the end, they reached the same conclusion. Ready? Yes. We have found a big space. Yes! <laughs> 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 
They have indeed detected a cavity behind the rafters. The rate of certainty, 99.9999%.